Hey guys and welcome. We're going to do a nice quick 15 minute uh, core workout today. So it'll be a little bit shorter than the other videos that we have been posting, but you don't need too much time, uh, at least not 45 minutes worth of core. Um, maybe in the future we'll do something that adds it into it. I got my Fit Fest Fusion shirt on, so uh, hopefully you can see everything that you need to see, but we're going to go ahead and start by laying down on our backs. Legs are going to go up, hands are going to go up as well. If you would like to, you can always place them behind the head. Now, how we're going to do everything today, we are going to do about four to five exercises, all going to be about 30 seconds or so, three to four rounds. So if you want to do more, you can just replay the video. So we've got our knees at tabletop, hands can go behind the head if you would like. Or if you want more of a challenge, bring them up in the air. We're going to extend one arm out, opposite leg, opposite arm, and just extend. Hopefully it doesn't sound like I'm yelling. I have, the <laughs> I have the computer really far away, so hopefully I'm not yelling, yelling at you guys. Awesome. Remember to bring those knees back to tabletop, really tucking in that core here. Almost lost track of what leg I was doing. <laughs> awesome. Let's go for three, two, and one. Good. Make sure you got them even on each side. So if that means doing one little extra, that's fine too. So I'm going to bring my hand, one hand back behind my head. Opposite leg is going to go straight. Wrong. <laughs> Your opposite leg is going to go straight. The opposite arm is going to go back up behind you. We're going to reach for that leg here, reach and bring it down. So nice little starfish crunches here. Take your time with them. Use the whole 30 seconds or so that we're doing this here. Good. And as always, don't be surprised if Oliver hops down and joins us. He's already eyeballing me on the floor so make sure you bring let's go for three two and one good we're just going to switch those sides so opposite leg or the other leg goes straight opposite arm goes up above the head we're just going to reach and bring it down reach and bring it down good. again make sure we're breathing can't hold your breath and do core at the same time. Good. Again, nice and controlled movement. The head and shoulders are coming up off the mat. Good. Let's go for three, two, last one. Good. Bring it all the way down. We're gonna go ahead and straighten out our legs completely. So they're laying right in front of us. Feet are flexed, very important for this one here. Hands will go back behind the head. Make sure you can't see your elbows out of your peripheral vision. We're gonna be here, find a spot up on the ceiling. Mine is gonna be <laughs> my uh, fire extinguisher thing. I, what is it, a uh, uh, fire alarm? Smoke detector. <laughs> You're going to look straight up and we're just going to move our heads up and then back down. Good. It's not going to feel like you're doing a huge movement and that's correct. We're just working that upper core here, crunching upwards to that spot up on the ceiling. Again, make sure you can't see those elbows out of your peripheral if you can. Make sure that they're tucked back behind you just a little bit more. Good. Let's go for three, two, and one. Good. Awesome. All right. We're now going to go into some reverse crunches. I thought it'd be nice to have my little clip in my hair, but it's, it's not, it's not turning out so nice. So 
<laughs> we're gonna be here. We're gonna go into some reverse crunches. Now, the way I like to do them is I like to place my hands underneath my bum area. Um, I have a very sensitive lower back. So if you also have a sensitive lower back or just kind of, it helps you have more control over your lower core and how you're moving, do that. I'm gonna do that. There's no problem with doing that. If you don't wanna do that, hands just go right beside you um, by your body. So hands underneath the bum if you would like. Legs are gonna go straight up in the air and then straight out in front of you. Straight up in the air, then out in front of you. Now the only time that bum should be coming up off the floor is when those legs are going up towards your ceiling. So everything is straight, bum, lower back, all of that is flat, touching my hands or that mat or your floor, whatever you're on, and then lifting up. Good. And apologies in advance if you can hear my hip popping, it just does that. <laughs> so sorry. You probably can't, but just in case. Let's keep it up. Got just a few more seconds here. Give me three, two, and one. Good, make sure those legs straight out for one last time there. And now we're just going to do everything that we just did. So we're gonna start with those dead bugs. So hands are gonna go back behind the head. Grab my hair while it's on this clip. And we're gonna bring those legs up to tabletop. And we're gonna extend one leg out at a time. Now again, you can do the uh, opposite arm, opposite leg above the head. So this right here, if you would like. If you find it more comfortable just to keep your hands back behind your head, that's fine as well. It still works that lower core. Just make sure you don't over tuck those knees. You wanna keep them nice at tabletop. So we're not cutting off that lower core from working at all. It's because when you bring it in, that lower core just stops working. At this point, now you're just working legs. So you want to keep that lower core, that lower ab area engaged as much as possible here. Good. Let's go for three, two, and one. Good. Bring it on down. Opposite arm to opposite leg. So that one leg's gonna go nice and straight. The other arm, so same arm as the leg that is straight can go back behind the head if you would like it to. And then we're going to bring it here and reach. reach. Good. Good, good, good. We are almost there. Let's keep it up for three, two, and one. Good. I'm gonna go ahead and switch it up. Other side, let go straight. Opposite arm goes out behind the head. We're gonna lift and then lower. Good. Good, good, good. Almost there. Keep pressing. Now that foot can be flexed or pointed. I meant to mention that the first round, but it doesn't matter how the foot goes. You can have it either way. Let's go for three, two, and one. Good. Straighten out those legs. We're going to be looking at the fire extinguishers on our walls. I'm just kidding. The, it looks straight up, like I said, mine is right where the smoke detector is, and that's where I'm going to move my head up towards. So find that spot on your ceiling 
Hands go back behind the head, feet are flexed, legs are straight. We're gonna lift up, working that upper core here. Good. Finding that spot up on the ceiling and just crunching up towards it. Crunch, crunch. So we're not tucking that chin. We're keeping a nice softball distance or so. So about, if you were to hold your hand out underneath chin to chest, you got that nice big gap right here. We're not tucking and we're not pulling our head with our hands. We're using that upper core to pull up and hold that spot. Good. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Everything comes back down. We got our reverse crunches. And then I think we got, we got one more round. It'll be a little bit longer than 15 minutes, but no complaints here. So we're gonna bring those legs up and straight out, up and then straight out. Good, good, good. Again, apologies if you can hear that hip. It seems louder, <laughs> I guess, to me because it's, it's right here, but good. And those legs don't have to go directly out in front of you. If this is your straight, then that is your straight. Do not feel the need to come all the way down especially if you start to feel that lower back start to arch or lift to overcompensate for um, lower ab strength. It'll get there, you'll get there. So if it's not here, don't worry about it. Just keep it here to the best of your ability, even if it's here, here, or here. Let's go for three, two, Last one, good. Well, at least last one of this round. So <laughs> not to get your hopes up. All right, we're going back to those dead bugs. Take a deep breath. We got one more round of everything and then we are done. We are done here with core. So again, hands can go back behind the head. If you wanna do the opposite arm, opposite leg, you can. I'm gonna stick with my hands behind my head just because it's most comfy to me. Again, those elbows are out of peripheral vision. You should not be able to see them. Extend one leg out, bring it into tabletop. Extend one leg out, bring it out to tabletop. If you were struggling getting your legs, both of your legs out during that reverse crunch movement, this is a really good strength builder for that. So if you're noticing that you just don't have a lot of lower core strength, this is a really good way to strengthen not only just the lower core, but also like right into that inner core area. So you have an overall healthier and stronger core in general. So it's a great, great, great strength builder to get you to those movements. Good. Oh, let's go for three, two, and one. Good. Thought we are about to have a curious cat. I think he's just under the table, so we're good for now. <laughs> uh, opposite arm to opposite leg. So one leg's going to go straight. One arm's going to go out. I hope he doesn't go over there and beat on those blinds. He does that. So hand goes back behind the head. We're reaching. And bring it back down. Reaching. Bring it back down, good. Again, that foot can be pointed, it can be flexed, whatever feels comfy for you. Good. Let's go four, three, two and one good we're just going to switch those legs out last time doing these so we're going to bring that arm to that leg 
and back down. We're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. It's almost here. <laughs> Good. Keep it up, keep it up. Almost there. Let's go for three, two, and one. Good. Hands get back behind the head. We got one last bit of those uh, straight leg crunches here. So hands again behind the head. Find that spot up on the ceiling. Make sure you can't see those elbows. And we're just going to crunch up right here. You might even start to feel a little shake in that core. It's good. It's what we want. We're doing these exercises back to back. So at any point, you can always feel free to do these and pause. Um, pause the video for a little bit more of a break if you need it. Easy peasy. So you can kind of do this at your own pace. There really is no benefit doing it one way or the other, other than you get more of a breather and a break. It's kind of the only difference. Oh, here he comes. Let's go for three, <laughs> two, and one. All right, just in time for the last exercise, huh, Oliver? Please do not get the camera. And there he goes. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna be doing those reverse crunches. I'm gonna get him out of the way. Sir, thank you. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna go into those reverse crunches. So again, you're down on the ground. Let me move my clip. Hands underneath the bum. We're lifting the legs and straighten them out. Lifting the legs, straighten them out. He just gets very curious. He's a he's a little bit of a ham. He loves the camera. That's why he has his own Instagram. <laughs> so we're lifting those legs up, straightening them out. Make sure we're breathing. Last round, I gave you guys a little bit more of a breather in between it. You can thank Oliver for that one. Keep it up, we're almost there. Good. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Go remember, don't forget to bring it all the way back out one more time. Bring those hands up above your head, straighten those legs out. I want you to take a nice deep breath here and really tuck that core in, hold that breath. Give that core a break. It did a good job. You guys all did a good job. And again, if you want more, just replay the video. Then you get six rounds in, if you would like. <laughs> Good. And three. In and hold it. And very slowly release that breath. All right. Very gently find yourself to a seated position. I'm going to tuck my hair back up and away. Uh, again, like I said, I thought the clip would be a cute idea, but it was not the most comfy idea. Um, <laughs> so I'm glad Oliver was able to make an appearance. Uh, again, like I said, if you'd like to uh, replay the video, do it again over and over about 30 seconds or so each exercise. And again, I'm sorry, this one's a little bit shorter than all the other ones, but we'll have a variation of them as we go. So. Thank you guys for joining and we'll see you in the next video.